what's up everybody Naresh here welcoming you back into another video where today we are looking into how to increase the speed of internet over Wi-Fi and within this video I'll be sharing with you a couple of tips and tricks you should try which will definitely improve your Wi-Fi connectivity and the internet speed on it as well so here is some example which I have done actually what I meant by that is like this is the speed of Wi-Fi which I was getting on uh, first and this is after you can see the results yourself I'm not going to mess around I'm gonna straight get to the point of it and show you everything you wanted to know in this video so with that all being said let's get into it now first thing we need to do is to install two applications first one is for the speed test and second one is for the Wi-Fi analytics both applications are available for Apple devices as well now we are an Android device so we need to open up the Google Play Store and search for the application which is a speed test and I will be and I will be going with the speed test by Okla and hit the install button let's go back and search for another application which is by Netgear and is called Netgear Wi-Fi Analytics app when you find it click on install and install the application now go back to the home screen of your mobile phone now to make my life easier I have put both application on the home screen of my mobile phone first thing I will be doing is the speed test Now with the help of a speed test application, we have a baseline that what speed we are running on our mobile phone device using the Wi-Fi network, which is 59.6 for the download and 15.8 for upload. Now let's open up Wi-Fi analytics. Now when you open up your Netgear analytics app on the first tab is going to show you signal strength of the Wi-Fi you are connected with now with respect to the signal our Wi-Fi is fantastic we are getting all full bars no problem whatsoever with it now the second thing which we need to do is click onto this Wi-Fi tab and click onto the scan now in here is going to show you all the Wi-Fi which are available within your home reach actually and what channel and what signal strength they have now right in here you can see that the Wi-Fi which I'm connected with is home dash 2.4 gig and what channel I'm on on it as well and what is the signal strength and there are so many more around it with using the same channel too but if I wanted to know is that channel clear or crowded I need to click on to the next tab now in the channel interference tab it's going to show you the Wi-Fi network you are connected with and what channel is it using and is that channel crowded or an average or a good or a bad whatever it is is going to show you and also show you the recommended channels you can select actually now as it is recommending you that you can select 1, 6, 9, 13, 44, 48 and 100 these are the recommendations so you need to try to make sure that you go on these channels where the Wi-Fi speed you're going to get will be better than the one which you are connected now and also down below in the channel interference list you can see that what channels are very nicely clear I would highly suggest to go for the number one channel and I'll show you how you're going to do that as well now let's go on our computer and access our router settings actually 
you can access your router setting from your mobile phone or a tablet if you want to but the reason of coming on a computer that you can see them big and you can access everything nicely too now first thing you need to do to know what is the home page IP of your router usually this all information is mentioned on your router label if not there are some of the recommendation available in a video description check them out now the IP address to access the router which I have got is 192.168.1.1 now to access the home page of your router you might have the credentials so you need to type in your username and a password now inside your Wi-Fi router setting you need to go into the wireless tab where you should be able to locate your Wi-Fi SSID broadcast name in my case it was home 2.4 G now as you can see the channel which is selected on it is 3 now I can select the auto but sometime auto don't work so I'm gonna go with the manual approach and I'm going to set to number one once you've done that what you can do is basically apply these changes click on to the apply now at this point you might notice that your router will restart that is fine now another important thing which I would highly recommend every one of you to do is go into the internet settings of your router and in here scroll down and click on to the domain name server DNS addresses then select use these DNS servers now within the primary server of DNS I would like you to type in 8 8 8 8 and on the secondary 8 8 4 4 now these addresses are actually Google public domain addresses which will help you to use the surfing actually you can uh, search for the addresses very quickly and you know search will be totally different and you will find it a little bit different than the one which you are using by your ISP provider or by the Netgear as well now once you've done that click on to the apply button and this time it will restart your router I suppose if not that's great now we are back on our mobile phone let's open up Wi-Fi analytic app and click onto the channel interference tab now in here we are connected to the same Wi-Fi network which is home 2.4 G and current channel is number one the one which we set in our Netgear router settings and it seems to be the good now now what you notice actually the channel 6 is also good as well so you can change your channel if you want to in your Netgear app it's like whatever channel which you see is empty available for your Wi-Fi use that one use the one which is a less crowded one to get the better speed very simple formula is that now what I want you to do and uh, go back to the speed test app and uh, let's run it again wow that's not bad at all we have straight away gone to 20 MB extra on download and about uh, 2 MB on upload that's a pretty good improvement and I'm sure all of you going to find this very informative as well let me know in the comment section below that what you think about this all procedure what we did in this video is helped you or not your comments would also help me to improve my services guys Thank you again for watching this video. Shall see you soon into another one. Bye for now.